My mother first detected a lump on her right breast, January 1999. And um, it was a crazy time. I was nine years old. And um, she had just suffered the loss of a baby. He survived a month. And then she found out that she had breast cancer. I remember she just got really skinny at one point. Like, I, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't really remember how she told my brother and I, but I do remember she just started getting skinny. And then I remember she was going to the chemotherapy treatments. I remember she lost her hair. And not just, like, you know, the hair on top of her head, but her eyebrows, all type of hair. She lost all of her hair she would be throwing up in the bathroom. And I remember, I actually remember those moments very vividly because my bathroom is close to um, the bed, my bedroom. So it was just, it's, it's something that will has, has stuck with me since that time and it's something that will stick with me forever. My mother is a very strong person. And you know, I had posted on Instagram recently the picture of my tattoo that I got in her honor, and I think I put a, a, a status with it that said, "If it's a constant reminder for me that if my mother did it, I, if my mother lived through breast cancer, I can live through anything. The thing that always amazes me is like, no one really knew besides close friends, a few church family members, and of course our family knew, but you know, she held it together, and it was like, once she got home, she she was able to let go. And she always said she didn't want to wear wigs. She, she, she wore her bald head proud sometimes, or she wrapped her head up with African garb, but like, she didn't, she didn't let cancer defeat her. She defeated the cancer. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I want you to call your mom. Are you serious? Yeah. Hello? I just called to tell you that I love you. That's it. Take like two minutes to explain your journey as you had breast cancer. Basically, I had the baby. Right. And after the baby was born, and he died in, no, in January. January, and I found a lump on my breast. And I looked and I was like, what? why am I sore on top of my breast? And then I looked at it, I felt it, and then I looked at it, and it was a lump. Right. I don't. I didn't go right away. I just, you know, it wasn't until the spring that I started, I, like March, that I really went to look, have it looked at. I um, went to the doctor, and I went, I went to him, and they tried to biopsy it, and it wouldn't. They thought it was a cyst, and it wouldn't go away. They, and then they biopsied it, and then I went, I was telling people on the job, and they sent me to um, a doctor over there by Sloan Kettering. It was a Jewish woman, an old Jewish woman, and she was like, I recommend a total mastectomy. And I left her office bursting in tears, because I'm like, a total mastectomy, you only, there's only something wrong in one breath. Went back to him, and I went through the whole procedure, and um, the doctor said, they sent me to the oncologist and everything, and they were like, you need to have this removed, and you have some under your arm in your lymph nodes. I remember so that. I did all of that, and I was in the hospital overnight. I, I do remember that. I remember that. When I think about um, how many people I know that really died from breast cancer, and when you hear about it, um, it means a lot that, you know, I changed my lifestyle, I changed the way I eat, um, I got closer to God, um, I got a closer relationship with, with Jesus Christ because I know that that's what caused me to survive, you know, and it means a lot. It's like I have a fighting spirit and I was determined not to leave here due to some disease. Okay, I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you too, Sephira. <laughs>